See, I'm understanding more that that a sheep will always live in a hostile environment without the shepherd. Could it be, could it be, hopefully this is not true, but maybe sometimes I have to ask myself, am I going through what I'm going through because I have wandered away from the good shepherd? See, this is why we got to make sure we have rhythms and routines and understanding that he's always here. Don't move away from the flock in this season. Stay with your good shepherd because your good shepherd is here to protect you. This is why David said it this way, Pastor Brenda, in Psalms 23. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. And everything that I want and everything that I need, it is found in my shepherd. Don't allow the enticing of the world to fool your eyes just like the wandering sheep and get off track of chasing something from the very spot that he has called you to stand on. Stand firm on that foundation because on that foundation is you, you will find the fullness of what your good shepherd is getting ready to feed you. He is found right on this spot. Don't wander all. Don't be fooled. Don't be tossed here and there. Stand Stand on your spot and be fed by your good shepherd. Why? Because he's, he's right here. See, as I get ready to, to close this series out, my, my assignment today, family, here's my assignment. My assignment to close this series out, I want us all to be reminded today, to be reminded that Jesus stands at your door. See, yes, we understand that he stands at the door of our relationship with God, our eternal salvation. But it's just so much more to that, that he stands at your door of your now to your there. That he is the, the door. It's singular. It's not plural. See, Jesus is the way, the way, singular. Jesus is the truth, singular, not plural. Jesus is the way, it's singular, the door that God is calling you to, to move from this space, from here to there, that door is found in Jesus. If you're looking to cross into your next, that way goes through Jesus. Don't be fooled by multiple doors in this season of your life. Multiple the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If he can't get you away from Jesus, he would, he would want to get you busy with many doors. Many options. Too many options is a bad thing. Maybe that's why I don't like Baskin Robbins. Too many options to choose. <laughs> Brendan, I'm a simple guy, right? Brendan, come on. Oreo, come on. Cookie dough. I'm simple. I don't need a lot of options. Don't give me a whole lot of options because too many options can actually confuse me. And when God moves in your life, he's not a God of confusion. He's a God of the way. And when he speaks in your life about the door, he will give you peace of the door that he wants you to walk through. Don't be confused for many options. Found peace in the door. Found peace in the way. Found peace in the truth. Because truth will always lead you to the door. Truth cannot hide itself. So my assignment today, as I'm sweating up here, my assignment, I wrote this down, my assignment is to make sure that, that, that you understand that your door to Jesus brings you closer to your heavenly father. My assignment today is to, to understand the door to your purpose. My assignment today is to make sure that you understand this door leads you to your calling. That this door, that Jesus, in my heart, Jesus is the door to your next season of your life. I got three points. I want to break these three points now for the next, give me about 15 minutes. That's okay? About 15 minutes. I got you. Because I want to break this down because the great I am is here with you, but the great I am is also there. See, my first point is this, family. I want to write this down. I am your protector. I am your protector. See, whatever is in trying to endanger you in this season, please know that Jesus is still your protector. The role of the shepherd is to protect the sheep. The role of the shepherd is to actually feed the sheep during the daytime and protect the sheep at nighttime. To the point, here's what the shepherd would even do. When it becomes nighttime, the shepherd would even lay himself or herself down by the door. And, 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 and to be in the pen, the enemy, the wolves will actually have to go through the gate 
in order to get to the sheep. Only way to actually get to the sheep, it has to go through the shepherd. See, here's the beautiful thing. If I stay in the pen, if I stay in the flock, I understand my protection is found in Jesus. And if anything that comes my way, it has to go past my Lord and Savior. That that my Lord and Savior is here to protect me. And if it finds its way to me, I understand my shepherd is still nearby. I understand that my shepherd is on his way. I understand that my shepherd has a way, that he has a plan, that his role is in his essence. It's in his DNA. It's who he is. He's always looking to protect you. He is the protector. See, if I can break it down to you like this way, can I give you some scriptures? Psalms 121 says it this way in verse 3, he will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. Indeed, the protector of Israel does not slumber or sleep. The Lord protects you. The Lord is a shelter right by your side. The sun will not strike you by day or the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all harm. He will protect your life. The Lord will protect your coming and going both now and forever. Your Lord does not sleep. And everything else in life might have an expiration date. But I'm telling you right now, your Lord does not sleep. I wrote it here in my notes. Even in our dark time, God is still there. Even in our dark time, he is still the light in your in, in your season. His light does not go out. His light does not diminish. He is here to protect you. I am here. Your protection is right here. Your protection is right here for your family. Come on, somebody. Your protection is right here. When the enemy wants to come out to your finances, your protection, your protector is right here. When he's going after your kids, understand it. The protector is always here to protect you. I don't understand when the wolves try to come and devour the very thing that my God has had. That's the way, that's a moment for my God to be almighty God. He's getting ready to stand up. I understand that being a father, you can mess with my sons. You can mess with my wife. You can mess with my family. You're going to have to deal with the father and my father in heavenly is so much better than me. So when he comes after his kids, your father is getting ready to stand up and deal with it. Your father is dealing with it. Do you believe that today? My father. Oh, he's dealing with it. My father has a plan. My father has a way. Even though that I feel in danger right now. My hope and my faith says my father has a way because he's a creator. He can speak the things. He can mold things. He can begin to do things. He is a protector. See, point number two is I am your guide. See, see, not only what Jesus was teaching here, I am, I am the protector, but I am also your guide. See, just like I said it before, that sheep love to flock together. See, see, one sheep can lead another astray. See, I, I like it found in John 10. It says the gatekeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He is calling you by name. That's personal. That's personal. Hear this today, family. You may, you can feel lonely. You can feel isolated. Please understand your heavenly father knows you by name. He knows every single hair that's on your head. Even for the ones that don't got hair in here. Come on, somebody. He's still, there you go, Mark. Come on. He knows you by name. Hear my heart on today. I love that God counts by the one. I love that God doesn't count in multitudes. I love that God doesn't see us in groups. I love that God, when he looks even in this room and online, he's looking at the one. 
He looks at you by one. He looks at you by your name. He looks at you by your identity. He looks at you by your DNA. He looks at you as your identity is found in Christ, his son. He sees the one. So whatever you may feel like you're unseen, unknown, overlooked, I thank God that even when the world doesn't bring the validation that I need, I thank God that I'm in his house and he sees me as a son. He doesn't overlook me. He sees me. He loves me. He encourages me. The same thing for me is the same thing for you. Why? Because he's guiding you. He guides who he loves. Yeah, yes, he do. He guides who he loves and he loves everybody. He's guiding everybody, but it has to be by choice. See, see, he's guiding them, but it has to be by choice. See, the sheep has to follow the shepherd by choice. And the more that the sheep follows the shepherd, it grows in age and memory grows. So despite when the sheep cannot see him, the sheep knows the voice because it has a personal relationship with the shepherd. So through tough season and tough terrain and elevation and different foundation, it doesn't matter if the sheep is in an open gray field or they climb in a mountain. As long as the sheep hear the voice, the sheep will continue to follow. Why? because the shepherd has been with the sheep and the shepherd has shown the sheep that I'm with you, that I will protect you. It doesn't matter when it gets a little bit of bumpy. It doesn't matter when it gets a little bit rocky. I'll be there here and I'll be over there as well. I'm still with you. Why? Because I'm the good shepherd. He's always with you and he's always guiding you. But I want to say it this way because please, please, please hear my heart as I teach it. Don't walk with your eyes, walk with your ears. Don't allow the world to entice your eyes on where your necks should be at. Allow the sound of heaven to pull you in the direction of where God wants you to. I love the sound of peace. I love it. You're not talking about Jamaica, Pastor Brendan. Jamaica, mom, we just came back from Jamaica. I can still hear the sound of the waters. <laughs> but the ocean is beautiful. It's peaceful. It pulls you in. It's comfort. See, 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 here's what I'm saying, that I, just as he created the oceans, it draws you in. It, it pulls you in. That's the beauty of his peace. It is a sound. There's nothing There's nowhere in the world that can recreate the beautiful sound of the ocean. It's matchless. It pulls, it draws you in. And it's constant. It it has no end. One wave comes in, another one's right behind it. Another one, it's constant. Here's the beauty. Here's the beauty about what's constant in your life or even in anything. Anything that's constant will continue to reveal itself. Why? It doesn't run out. It just keeps coming. There's no shortage of ways when it comes to the ocean. One comes in, another one comes in. So here's the beauty of his love. When you may think that you're running on like my account was when I went to Atlantic City and it went on negative and there was no more money coming back in. No, no, no. His love, it doesn't run like that. His love comes and it comes again. His love comes and it comes again. His love guides and it guides again. His love restores and it restores again. His love pulls and it pulls again. It doesn't run out. And here's the beauty thing about the ocean. And the more you step out with God, you can feel as though that you're in the middle of a deep sea all by yourself. And here's what I'm telling you. Just like he gave you one step of something to step on, he'll give you another step of something else to step on. As long as you stay with him, he will always give you a firm foundation to step on, to be there out in the middle of the ocean. Why? Because he's always moving in your life. There's always something underneath. Always something underneath. Just because you can't see the next step. Oh, I can feel it now. You can hear it. 
You may not see it, but you can hear it because I know if my heavenly father is in front of me and he's on firm foundation and as long as I'm following, not with my eyes, but with my ears, he's leading me to not to the enemy. He's leading me to prosperity. He's leading me to deliverance. He's leading me to healing. He's leading me to abundance that's in my life. He's always leading you to greater. He's always leading you to more. What's the next sound in the season of your life? What does the next sound of the season of your life sound like? Is it peaceful? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it does it bring you joy? Does it, does it, does it, is it a sound of strength? Is it the sound of wisdom? I'm not going to say it may be the sound of comfort. It may not be comfort, but it's peaceful. It may not be comfort, but it has strength. It may not be comfortable, but it has wisdom. Because wherever God would go, he never promised us that it would be easy. He just promised that I'm here. He's always here with you. So get ready to close. The third point is, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I said it earlier, as we get ready to close, invite the team back up. The beauty about truth is this, family, that it cannot be hidden. You can't hide beauty. You can't hide truth. Truth will always reveal itself. I wrote this down in my notes because here, I wrote, the sun cannot be hidden because it's consistent. The moon cannot be hidden because it's consistent. Truth cannot be hidden because it's Consistent. Whatever is consistent will always reveal itself. Here, here's what I'm unpacking. Truth will always lead you to your next. It's consistent. Like we said it before, it's consistent. What's the truth that God is speaking to you right now? The truth of a, I am here, but the truth that's leading you to there. Your purpose will always lead you to your next. Your calling in life will always lead you to your next. Can I, can I even break it down a little bit? Not, not to get off track as we get ready to close. Here's the difference between purpose and calling. We're all created. We all have the same purpose. We were all created to glorify our God. Yes. That is your purpose. Yes. That is your foundation. Yes. You may have things on top of that, but the firm foundation of your purpose is to bring God glory in whatever he has called you to do. Whether that's a mic in my hand on Sunday or whether that's me being a father on Monday or whether that's me being a husband on Wednesday, I am called to glorify my God. Our calling may be different, but our purpose is still the same. You have a purpose. Just because the occupation doesn't fit the description of what your purpose is, your purpose will always be this. Glorify God. Glorify God. The more you flow in your purpose, the more your calling will be identified. Here's why. Because truth can't hide itself. Truth can't hide itself. Purpose will always lead you to truth. He said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. Here's why, because I am, it's with you. I am, it's with you. As we get ready to close out, I love the way that Jesus said it this way when he said, I am. You may know it's the, it's the seven I am statements. What, what beautiful way to, to always read these statements of having an understanding who he is. Just as God the Father said to uh, Moses, I am with you. Just as he said to Abraham, I am with you. Jesus now is saying the same thing, I am. And I love in these statements, he said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the true vine. There's nobody that can go through me and get to the Father. Why? Because I am who I am. I am. He's a sufficient God. Here's why. Because he's more than enough. And everything that Jesus was saying, in other words, he could have summarized it for a nice, beautiful academic paper and just said, 
I am more than enough. Whatever you think you need in this, in this season of your life, Jesus is more than enough. Matter of fact, if I can close it out like this, as we get ready to, to, uh, to, to close out, you can rise to your feet. I am El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. I am Elohim, God the creator. He's mighty and he's strong. I am Abba. He's my father. I am Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. I am Jehovah Rapha. He's your healer. I am Jehovah Rahi, my shepherd. I am Jehovah Shalom. He is your peace. If I can say it this way, he's the great I am and whatever you need him to be, not as if he's a genie, but he's saying, this, I am everything that you need because I am all sufficient, God. There's nobody as close to me. There's nobody that's close. There's none close. I am king of all kings. I'm Lord of all lords. I am all sufficient, God. I'm everything that you need. He's standing at your door. He's standing at your door. Jesus is standing at your door. And I love that it's open. And he's saying, walk through. My God, walk through. You, you have no idea what's on the other side of your door. You've been in this season way too long. I'm, I'm calling you to the next season right now. Come through my door. Choose my door. On the other side of my door is grace. On the other side of my door is your breakthrough. On the other side of my door is everything that you need. On the other side of my door, family, strongholds are being broken. On the other side of my door, you are being called to be a trailblazer. On the other side of my door is freshness, is newness. It's, it's something new that God wants to do for you and your family on the other side of my door, my door, Jesus' door. Jesus said on this door, calling you to more. He's standing at your door. Father God, we love you. We honor you. We thank you for your word today. We thank you that you are, that you are the door. You are the gate. You are the gatekeeper. We're so grateful that you're standing at the door and you keep it open and you keep calling us by name. We're so grateful that even in this moment right now, we hear your voice. Your voice reflects love. Your voice reflects peace. Your voice reflects direction. Speak to us. Guide us, protect us, share your way, excuse me, share your way with us. You are the truth. We love you so much. We honor you. Amen. As we stay in this posture of worship, as Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah, he said that you cannot have a relationship with my heavenly father unless you go through me. The beautiful best decision that you can ever make is to give Jesus your yes. To say, yes, Jesus. Maybe this is your first time doing it. Or maybe that God is calling you in a season of rededicating your life back to him. Say yes. On the other side of that door, on the other side of that yes, it's the beauty of a matchless relationship. Not only is your soul saved, but hear my words, it's everlasting. Why? Because it's all sufficient.